Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are back with more of the Cleo Trapa and Ice Spice drama. The DJ is now backing up Cleo. He said everything that Cleo Trapa said are facts on top of facts on top of facts. Ice Spice is grimy. Her whole team, they are all grimy. I mean, Ice Spice really tried to sabotage that girl's whole toy experience because Cleo did not back up her lies on her being so-called Nigerian. Cleo was on his podcast last year and she was asked about Ice Spice being Nigerian and then Cleo was like, wait, what? When? She never told me that. So that's why Ice Spice is mad. Also, Cleo touched on colorism on the same interview. And also last week when she dropped those videos exposing Ice Spice, she had made a post about colorism in the industry yeah it's a thing we know it's a thing in the industry but cleo no it's a thing but cleo was okay with that because last year i believe ice spice was exposed for being a colorist by an ex-friend named baby stormy and what did cleo do cleo stood up for ice spice so now it's colorism this colorism that but you were okay with being a token black girl to a colorist who was only using you to show that she's not a colorist. But I feel like they were both using each other. I feel like Cleo was using Ice Spice and Ice Spice was using Cleo. Cleo is gorgeous, by the way. I'm like, she's a baddie. Have you seen her with her makeup? She's still pretty. I love her skin color. She's just gorgeous to me. She's just pretty to me, but um, enough of that. Um, yeah, so let me play the clips, and then I'm going to play the DJ backing up Cleo Drapa, you know, exposing more of what happened. They even tried to play him. They had him with a tag saying Cleo's help, man. <laughs> you guys, you know, check out these clips, all right? Yo, bug. Guess what though? Word. Ice Spice is also is also Nigerian. I didn't know. I no, seen a, I seen a tweet though, but I didn't know. Really? Is How she, close are y'all? She never told me that though. Really? I was kind of confused too when she tweeted that. I'm like, she's, did she tell me? She's she, half. She told me her best friend was. I remember when I was talking about me being Nigerian. She was like, "Yeah, my best friend's Nigerian." But I mean, if she's Nigerian, then period. She's probably trolling the fuck out niggas, man. You're 100 percent right. Yeah. Dark skins do get the shorter end of the stick mm -hmm. in every aspect of everything sometimes. So it's like Yeah, man. Yo <laughs> I mean, I'm not phased by it. Mm -hmm. I'm not phased. Shit like that just make me want to shit on You niggas. get a part of though, right? Like make me want to shit on niggas going harder. But why do I gotta go harder though? What? But you get like no I got there. I did a show in Jersey. That was my first show I did. I did the one in Jersey. When I did the show in Jersey, we got I got to the fing door and not only was it my name on the list to come inside and DJ, like, for, for Cleo's performance, Cleo wasn't even on the bill. Like, on the, at the door, her name wasn't at the door. Her manager had to call um, this, the production. The production had to call um, Ice Spice manager, manager just to get us in. Like, I'm like, damn, so I'm not even gonna lie. I'm looking like, damn, I thought this was her friend. Like, this is your friend and... You're not even you're not even on the list at the door. That's crazy. Like, and not only that, they said the show starts at eight o'clock, right? So, but we had to be there by seven thirty. Something about us having to be there by seven thirty that the performance was gonna be, you know, like maybe it was gonna be like a, um, like a, you know, first of all, niggas didn't even let us do sound check. That's another thing. They didn't let us do sound check. We had to beg to do a sound check because we literally did a sound check. 10 minutes before we performed. That's crazy. Like, literally. They made Cleo perform while people was walking in, bro. That's crazy. And, I, I, yo, I couldn't even believe it. I'm like, yo, bro, like, if a show starts at 8, why the fuck is she performing at 7.30? Yo, moving forward, bro, moving forward. So we, then I look, I ain't gonna lie, we got inside, yo. Why Cleo, why, she didn't even have a dressing room. Shorty didn't even have a dressing room. Yo, we had to stand outside the fucking, um dressing rooms. And it's yo, and it smelled like feet. The whole hallway smelled like feet. But that's another story. That's another story. I ain't saying nothing. Name my business. I, ain't, I, I mean, I'm just the DJ. Yo, bro. Secondly, they didn't even have bro. 
they expected Cleo to have turntables and shit. So when I got there, they're like, you got your turntables. I'm like, why Why do I need turntables for? Like, it's a concert. It's, this, this, don't you have turntables here? Like, your whole production should have turntables. They go, that's, that's, oh, they go, that's riots, turntables. We're gonna, um, you, you know, I'm like, bro, well, I'm her DJ and, you know, I need turntables. And, like, I could go to my car and get my turntables, but that's like a two-mile walk because there was no parking. So by the time I would go to my house and get the fucking turntables, i come back, the fucking show would be over for Cleo. So, yo, so then they said they had an axe riot. So I'm like, fuck is riot? So, <laughs> they, uh, yo, I'm not trying to play nobody. I didn't know who the fuck he was, bro. I didn't even know. I thought that was just the nigga that, the, the producer or some shit. Like, I didn't know. I didn't know he was a real, like, DJ. I didn't even know he was a real DJ. So, anyway, one thing I won't lie, he was nice enough to let me use his turntables because they was really trying to hate, like, act like they could not let her use his turntables or her DJ. So I'm like, basically, that's like low-key sabotaging Shorty whole production, like, her whole performance. Because, like, how the f*** do you tell somebody they could perform, but the DJ bring their turntables? I have never been to a concert and a f***ing DJ who was performing... It was like four or five performers, and a DJ had to literally bring. So what do you expect me to bring the speakers for the concert too? But whatever, that's another story, bro. Moving forward, yo, let me tell you all the bullshit. So we did the performance, and I'm telling the guy like, yo, you know, like um for Cleo's performance, do you have do you have lighting? Like do you have like lighting y'all can use? Like because so Cleo's like, what do you mean? I'm like, yo, like this is shit you should like be on top of because. They should know what lighting to keep when you perform. So, you know, I've done this before, so I'm like, you know, and plus I feel like she's new to it, so maybe she's a little blind to certain shit. So I ain't gonna lie, as a man and as a DJ, like most DJs gonna make sure your shit is going down right because not, whoever's not gonna hold you down, the DJ's gonna hold you down because the DJ looks bad too if shit don't look good for him. You feel me? So then I had to tell a nigga, I'm like, yo, bro, like, you know, is there a light? And he's like, oh, what lights? I'm like, bro, like, real shit, like, can you, like, put, like, a blue light while she does this song and then a red light while she does this? Or, my nigga, if you got to, since you don't want to do shit or help her for shit, just put her in a fucking red light and call it a fucking day and put a little spotlight on her. They did it. I'm not gonna lie. The, the show went good. This the one in, this the one in Jersey. Yo, so... Then we get backstage, right? I'm backstage. I'm like, why are we still backstage? Like, we had, I had to stand on the corner somewhere and not be seen. Like, so I'm like, all right, whatever. Ice Spice comes out, perform. Well, no, Cash Cobain comes out, performs, whatever. Then Ice Spice comes out and performs, and they tell us they're like, stay on the side and don't, don't like leave here. So I'm looking like, bro, is this our friend? Cause like, why the f they not jacking none of her staff? Like they just. They just, they just looking like they just throwing her in the corner. Then I'm not even going to lie, bro. If your friend performs, I don't give a fuck. I've seen this happen. I've seen niggas. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen celebrities like have friends perform or a special guests come and open up for them. And I've seen them sit on the side and like, pat, you know, like shout them out, like, or whatever. Like, I'm looking like, I'm not even going to lie. Cleo kept posting Ice Spice while they were in the, um, the, uh, Ice Spice changing room and shit like that. So I'm looking like, um, why, why, why should he not, not posting her? Like every, she posted mad pictures of Ice Spice, and I'm looking like, wow, that's crazy. Like she's posting her, but Shorty not posting her, but that's her business. Like I ain't, I ain't gonna hate on that, but that's crazy too. So long story short, the fucked up thing is when we went to when we DJ when I DJ Philly, no, when I DJ in New Jersey the next day. Not, wait, wait, not don't even finish that. Hold on. The same night that Ice Spice performed, right? Cleo, when the, when everything was done at the concert, right? When everything was done at the concert, Cleo was upstairs in like her change room, and um, what do you call it? When she was in her room, she sent one of her, like we downstairs, right? When the whole show's over, right? They had like like 15 boxes of pizzas, like cane, sodas, drinks, everything. So we sitting there like. And I'm downstairs with Cleo's manager, right? And her, his manage, her manager has like a little daughter. She's like, I don't know. She looks like she's like, I'd say she's eight years old. Eight years old. With Cleo's manager. Tell me why the fucking production people, the fucking staff management, 
all of them. He, the guy, um, what was it? When we were downstairs, oh, oh, they're, they're eating pizza. Keep in mind, it's like 15 boxes of pizza. And it's like four staff members sitting there. So then Cleo sends one of her friends, I don't know what it was, I think, I think it was the dude who dresses Cleo. I know it was a boy and a girl. So they were with Cleo, and I believe they're like her stylist or her like semi-management type team, or like, I don't know, her team. So um, one of them went downstairs and they're like, yo, you know, Cleo wants to get a, a slice of pizza. And um, you know what a motherfucker said? You know these motherfuckers said to her? They said, and I couldn't even believe that shit. I was looking like, yo, bro, like, are we really even, are you really on the bill? So they told her like, no, it's for production and management. And uh, so I spice his team. So I'm like, this shit is for her team. So I'm like, ain't Cleo and um and um and and, and I spices uh changing room and her fucking room and shit with her. So I'm looking like if she's in her dressing room, why she can't get a slice of pizza? <laughs> yeah, she couldn't even get a slice of pizza, my nigga. Yo, I couldn't stop laughing. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Like, niggas put on punishment. <laughs> I'm over here like, damn, son. Niggas done drove to Jersey one hour and mother couldn't even get a slice of pizza. Yo, I know she remember that shit, bro. Yo, if, if you watching this shit, you remember that shit, Cleo. Yo, I couldn't stop. Yo, I wanted to, I was trying not to laugh, bro. I'm trying not to laugh. I'm like, yo, wow. Wait, so she just performed and there's 15 boxes of pizza and only one eating it is the white people. The only like three or four white people eating the pizza, right? The only white staff. Keep in mind, it's the only white staff I've seen. So they sitting there like, yo, look, she can't. This is not for her. Like, this is for Ice Spice's team. Bro, I was rolling, bro. I was done. I was done. Second, moving on, right? Why Cleo's manager had an eight-year-old daughter that was sitting there, and I guess she wanted a slice of pizza, and I guess he was like, I'm going to get you a slice of pizza before they even said that to Cleo and shut him down. Yo, they caught him giving Shorty, the little girl, a piece, slice of pizza, and they started bugging like, yo, yo, that's not for you guys. So the, the manager, he gets props for this. The nigga said, yo, this, this ain't for me. This is for a little girl. This is for my daughter. I'm Cleo's manager. It's just a slice of pizza, bro. Yo, they didn't even want to give the little girl the fucking slice of pizza, bro. He had to, he had to debo the pizza, bro. He just took it on some like gangster shit. Like, my daughter's gonna eat pizza. It's not that serious. Like, it's 18 boxes of pizza, bro. Yo, bro. Yo, moving forward, bro. The next day I had a DJ in Philly. Like, niggas had a DJ in Philadelphia. You feel me? And, um, so I, I, I drive two hours to Philadelphia, bro. Tell me why I get there, right? And they tell me, yo, um, what happened? Uh, Spice, the, the show was going to start late tonight because Ice Spice is going to just start it late. So it was supposed to start, I think, at like 8.30 or, or some shit like that. Bro, I get there, like, 7.30 or some shit because I know that they said that um, Cleo keeps performing at 7.30. I'm like, why the fuck she's performing like an hour before the fucking concert, bro? So I'm like, whatever. I get there. We get there. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't make sound check. That's on my own ass. I didn't make sound check. But I mean, the performance was so fast. And it's not like they really gave a fuck about it that much. And she was killing. I'm not gonna lie. She was killing. She was doing a damn thing. Like, I'm not gonna lie. So, well, the day before. The day before performance, she killed it. So the next day, the day I come down Philadelphia, so we get on stage, Cleo tears it up. Keep in mind, the place in Philadelphia, every concert has different stages. Like, every every city had a different stage. The one in Jersey wasn't humongous, but it was big. The next, the next, when we got to, when I got to Philly, when we got to Philly, the stage was humongous. It was like, like some Hot 97 Summer Jam big ass stage type shit, right? So, we get there, I get there, we do, she does her performance. She kills it. Um, whatever. Um, what, what happened, bro? Oh, after the performance, usually, we, you know, you can stand up. Oh, yeah, when she finished performing, this, the production crew, yo, the production crew and the management are some f***ing weirdos, bro. Like, they're f***ing weirdos or on Ice Spice side. They're f***ing weirdos because they say one thing and then the next day, they don't have it there no more. Like, you can tell, like, the more you come, 
the less they're giving the girl, giving Cleo. Like, it's like they keep taking shit away from her less and less and less to make her look be less and less with the concert. So I'm looking like, you don't want the fucking girl there. Just kick off the concert. Like, clearly, because, like, we, we, you know, people out here trying to, like, make names for themselves. Niggas out here trying to make sure the performances is dope. But y'all got niggas looking, oh, yo, I'm all over the place. The ADHD's kicking in, you feel me? Yo, why when I got to Philly, right? When before it, she even performed, I forgot. See, so much shit was happening. I don't even be re like remembering. It was like a month ago. So while well, when I got to Philly, they kept telling me, "Oh, go to the front, say your name at the door, say you're with Cleo's team, or Ice Spice, and Cleo." So I said, "All right." I got to the front. Keep myself big ass concert hall. I get there, the front, mad embarrassing. They're like, "Oh, you're not on the list." I'm like, "What do you mean I'm on the list? Um, Cleo's performing. Like, I'm DJ Class Act. I I just DJed yesterday." Like, for the same shit. She's like, no, you're not on the list. You got to call somebody. You got to go around, over there, around the corner from the from the, from the the place. Then I go around the fucking corner. I go around the corner. I sit there. Go there. A different type of security is there. I'm like, hey, I'm the DJ. Oh, no. You got to go around over there because the people, this is for, like, Ice Spice people. You got to go around the corner for, like, the other regular admission. I'm like, bro, I'm the fucking DJ for one of the performers. Bro, like... They were treating me like I was there for this fucking Ice Spice concert when I was there yesterday, my nigga. Yo, bro. Then I go around the fucking building again to the front. The lady's like, yo, yo, what? That's why I like black people. Some bouncer walked up to me and said, yo, fella, if you want to get inside, you got to go around. I don't know why they not telling you, but the staff got to go around. It's a little back alley. I'm like, yo, good looks, bro. Philly shit, you know? cheesesteak shit so i went around the, the building i get to the door bro the same security that was at the concert yesterday that that was working at a whole nother place we're sitting there the fucking main security guard who gave me a wristband everything he looking at me and i'm like what's up bro you know i'm here for the you know i mentioned we was here yesterday yo why they gave me a name tag like as if i was a visitor my nigga was treating me like paparazzi my nigga i'm like yo bro even my name tag the name tag you know i might should say vip or with staff nigga they said cleo's help the shit said cleo's help the last time i saw help nigga was in the help bro i was tight i'm looking like bro why the does my name tag say cleo's help bro who the does shit like that bro then I'm looking like, yo, bro, I done drove two hours from New York to come to this motherfucking city, bro. And these niggas treating me like fucking help. Cleo, Cleo was the help. <laughs> I promised I wasn't going to laugh in this shit, bro. They was treating her like help, God. She ain't even have, nigga didn't even have wristbands. Niggas gave her like, you know when you go to the hospital and they give you a visitor pass? They gave her, a, they gave me a visitor pass. Yo, I was tight. I get on stage, bro. Now I'm tight. I'm more tight. He's like, yeah, you got to hurry up and go to stage. I'm like, she's performing right now? I get on, she performs. She kills the show. This is in Philly, bro. She kills the show. Long story short, then I, they tell us, oh, after you perform, you know, you can go over there on the side of the stage. It was a bigger area this time for the side, side of the stage. I wish I could show you the video. There was a bigger area on the side of the stage where, like, you know, you can go because they clearly wasn't letting niggas backstage if you wasn't part of Ice Spice team. Like, nigga, if you weren't part of Ice Spice team, even you were not back there, bro. I'm not even lying. Like, Cleo literally was in hallways, like, walking around, bro. <laughs> yo, nigga, I'm looking like, yo, damn, bro, she need to just get in the car with me and come back to New York, bro. Like, bro, so anyway, long story short, bro. Now I'm standing on the side of the stage. Cash Cobain performs. His, 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 his entourage is there. We all on the side of the stage. Where you can't be seen, like, you on the side of the stage. It's big. They even made an area for people on the side of the stage. Keep in mind, I said that. An area for people on the side of the stage. Yo, now Ice Spice is about to headline and come out, right? It, it's so bad that the security knew that the fuckery was going on. And they like, yo, my man, I don't want to tell you this, but Ice Spice don't want nobody on, on the stage. Everybody has to watch the shit from the back of the, from, from the audience. So I'm like, but Ice Spice is, um, Ice Spice is Cleo's friend. 
You know, I'm with Cleo. I'm the DJ. Like, we, you know, you see me. Like, I'm, I ain't bothering nobody. I'm just sitting on the side. Like, I ain't even, like, video recording like a fan. Like, oh, Ice Man, Ice Man. None of that shit, bro. So I'm looking like, bro, like, what do you mean? We all have to get off the stage? Yeah, only her peoples are allowed on the stage. Bro. That right there, that's when I was like, yo, f*** this shit, bro. Like, that's mad disrespectful, bro. I had to watch the whole f***ing performance off the stage. Like, they told us to get off. Nigga, we couldn't even be behind stage in an area. My f***ing guest visitor pass wasn't working. I ain't got no wristband. Yo, son, they treated her like a f***. Yo, like, I don't even know. I was just looking like, bro, are they really friends? Like, the whole time kept saying, like, bro. Like, damn, like, Shorty don't got, like, no pull in this whole concert. And she promoting it. She, she, she's throwing pictures of her friend. I'm like, yo, that's just f bro. The whole shit was just f bro. Like, I'm not even going to lie. I saw the whole performance. Man, I didn't even stay for the rest of the performance. I'm like, what the fuck am I watching Ice Spice perform for? Like, real shit. I'm here for Cleo. But I'm looking like, clearly, that ain't her friend. Like, I'm looking like, bro, like, the way you treated, like, yo, I ain't gonna lie, the way she was treated, bro, like, the way we were treated, the way I was treated, I'm like, damn, I'm the girl's DJ, bro, y'all niggas don't respect none of this shit, we are help, they treated niggas like help, so anything she said was true, I'm being real honest with you, there's a lot of free going on, and I'm class act, I'm out.